जय शिवाय सो दिस वीक आई एम गोइंग टू बी इन ऋषिकेश ऑन फिफ्टींथ एंड सिक्सटींथ एंड वी विल बी क्लोजिंग अवर बुकिंग्स सोन टुमारो सो इफ यू आर स्टिल इंटरेस्टेड यू हैव सम टाइम टूडे then you can come and meet me you can visit the website www.yogiparampara.org and uh, all the details are there uh, on the home page you will see a notification that says my stay in rishikesh and the meeting that we are organizing with other seekers and everyone and if you click on the learn more button then you will see the program details and everything okay so that is one thing so if you are still interested you have time till tomorrow at max and then we will close because uh, we have to finalize the bookings and we need to know how many people are will be there and the, we will be renting the space so that space will be accordingly so if you are still interested you have time that is one thing that i wanted to say another thing that i wanted to highlight was that it takes a lot of time and resources to be able to make these videos render and everything and i know it's my dharma it's my goal and it's my duty to give uh, share the wisdom with all of you but at the same time a lot of resources are required and uh, right now i'm working in it so i pay for all these things myself but sooner or later it will be very helpful if you guys can donate and whatever you can donate okay so do not pay to anybody in life if you are taking something receiving something whether it is wisdom or whether it is anything do not pay using your good karma just just there must be some exchange of something if you have taken something that you have to either return it through your service not just to me to any any guru or any anybody in life okay or if you cannot provide your services then it's best best to just donate so whatever donations i receive there are many people those who are studying are student yet they are great dispassionates they are yogis actually but they cannot pay for the teachings they cannot pay for their travel and everything so we do not take money from anybody who is studying at this time and not earning at all so those who are earning they can they can donate and the donations goes towards <clears throat> arranging everything and whatever it is that we whichever way we can return we are returning it in a big way okay more than we get actually so that is another thing now today's topic is about ojas what is ojas and uh, how it's created in the body and what is all that so first of all you have to understand that ojas is a term in ayurveda okay it's an ancient most ancient traditional indian uh medicine system you can say okay and uh, that that's where you will see if you read any ayurveda book you can easily find what is ojas actually now in order to understand ojas you have to understand that it's something subtle it's not something you can touch you can feel or you can grab or you can you know quantify it's not it's not thing nothing like that it's such it's a very subtle thing for example if there is a candle okay so candle has wax candle has a wick and there is fire which is burning the candle all these three things wax the wick and the fire all three are gross in nature now if you see the light that's happening all around because of that candle that light neither you can touch nor you can uh, grasp grab hold of nor you can you know it it's not something that you can feel so easily light how far it is how less it is how 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 hard it is and all those things so it's not something it's something subtle the light that the can uh, that that candle is emanating right that burning candle is emanating it's something subtle ojas is exactly like that it's something subtle and ojas is the net resultant of the food that you eat the thoughts that you have and the lifestyles that you are doing thoughts in other words the chitta vrittis the psychological patterns the sanskaras that are playing out in your life right now okay and the lifestyle that you are maintaining you may be eating a very healthy food but at the same time 
you may be very stressed and you may lack uh, for proper sleeping or you you are not doing any exercises and you are maybe you are being given a very healthy food to eat it still you won't be able to extract exact new nutrients that you were supposed to extract from that food right your body is not going to get that much benefit from the food that you are eating when you are stressed tensed angry anxious and not slept properly so it's not just the food it's your entire lifestyle you may be eating a very good food but you may be going to you know waking till late working being a workaholic and running around too much too much all the time your 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 mind is on and on and on into something or this thing or that thing and it's just a restless anxious and way of living and you are all the time either living in the past or living in the future then that food is not very much helpful so ojas is not going to be that great what are the signs or what are the ways to know that you have a really good great ojas in your body in your existence first thing is that your mind is going to be relatively content and calm you know it's not going to wreak havoc all the time you won't be much fearful much tensed or worried about future past this that nothing it's going to be a peaceful existence and content existence okay you are going to be a content existence if the ojas is high another thing is you are going to be physically healthy as well not every virus every allergy every seasonal stuff you are not going to catch diseases very easily so you are going to be physically healthy your skin will radiate that ojas your skin will be shining your eyes will be glittering you will smile easily and uh, there will be you will be laughing right from the heart you know you will be laughing and smiling from the heart that means you have a really good ojas so this is what ojas is ojas is not something just which comes just from the food your entire lifestyle is has to be accounted for you may if you are living just uh, because of your, your psychological patterns all the time there's no con- you are not living a, being a conscious being and you are not living consciously just being driven by your patterns and sanskaras and vasanas and vrittis all the time then your ojas will come down if you are not eating way too much then your ojas will come down if you are having lot of sexual activity in your life your ojas will come down if you are not sleeping properly your ojas will come down if you are not maintaining yama niyama asana pranayama pratyahara your ojas will come down if you do not have pratyahara in your life sensory withdrawal in your life no vairagya no dispassion in your life your ojas will come down body will decay and disease very soon that's why you see a lot of people lose that vigor that vitality that power of power from within their immunity their muscle strength their body people lose it by the time they are 30 till 30 they fine all your systems are working fine after 30 you cannot live a healthy life if you are not living a healthy wealthy life if you are not living a conscious life then ojas will come down then you see decay in the body this disease that disease first you will lose the peace and calm within your heart all that peace will be lost <laughs> you will always be tensed and worried about this thing or that thing you will become fearful in life you will not be able to stay conscious at all no matter how much healthy you eat no matter how many pranayamas asanas you do still ojas is not going to the level where it should be because psychological patterns are driving you because you do not have where i get now ojas is the subtle light the essence of your lifestyle and the food that you eat okay and how much lifestyle also includes how much yoga and all these spiritual journey are you really conscious about that or not how much you are able to catch your psychological patterns how much conscious you are about that 
but that's what ojas is ojas in other words in when we say in physical terms then there are three doshas in ayurveda kapha pitta and vat pitta means fire kapha means it's a substance the liquid in your body okay all the your neural cerebrospinal fluid your lymphatic fluid in your limbs fluid here and there and including blood and everything all kinds of you know watery substance in your body the entire substance in watery substance in your body depends upon the ojas if the if you lack ojas your sperm count is going to be low if you lack ojas if not you do not have enough ojas then soon sooner or later you are going to have a joint pain knee pain shoulder pain this pain that pain for no reason without any external injury you are going to have body pains you are you will have a hard time to you know having muscles in your body no matter how you ex how much you exercise you won't be able to retain your muscles your bones will lose the den density you will have a poor quality of blood poor quality of ox uh, oxygen or oxygen in the blood poor quality of uh, lymphatic fluid poor quality of uh, you know cerebrospinal fluid the power to regenerate cells in your body will be less power to fix you know wear and tear and damage in your body on every day basis is going to be less now what creates ojas food and lifestyle is one thing but actually what creates it tejas creates it tejas is comes from fire the pitta that we have the fire that we have and so tejas creates ojas and how how come how do we have that tejas and how what does that te tejas depends upon it's the fire within that and there are multiple fires within you one is the fire that digests your food another is the fire that helps you live in the world it's called vashvanara agni right so there are so many different types of agni so many different types of fire in you your will power is a fire in you comes from the element of fire in you so all that is tejas in you the fire element in you produces produces that tejas that light which i just explained you comes from the candle that light now that light creates an aura that aura is ojas that light from the candle is tejas so you have to understand it that way okay so if the poor quality of light is coming out of the candle it's flickering a lot it's not consistent enough it's not in powerful or strong enough or the wick is not good the candle is uh, the wax quality is really bad there's a lot of pollutants mixed in the wax quality in the wax so then the quality of light all around the tejas all around that you see is going to be bad sometimes you will see dark and then again the candle will flicker and burn again then again dark and then again so if the tejas is like that in you fire is like that in you obviously the aura that it will create the energy field that it will create the light field that it will create is going to be of a poor quality so ojas is going to be of poor quality ojas depends upon tejas tejas depends upon the entire lifestyle here that you have and the food that you eat okay so help this hope this helps you understand and uh, you are able to have a good tejas in yourself and then a very good ojas in you and live a life with vigor solid vitality okay namaste jai shivaya Oh